In today's video, we're going to talk about the dangers of cat litters to humans. This video will address many health risks posed to humans when living with their precious feline friends. There are potential health risks involved with a cat litter box inside the home. A litter box consists of various forms of litter, crystal cat litter, traditional clay litter, corn litter, in addition to obvious urine and feces after use. The following medical and scientific evidence will explain and outline not only the risks involved, but also provide solutions to lower those risks to your family and other pets. Known health risks with cat urine and feces. Cat urine and cat feces can be potentially fatal to humans, and can potentially trigger breathing issues caused by certain cat litter fumes when the litter is in transit. According to the National Pet Owners Survey 68% of U.S. households, or about 85 million families, own a pet. Of those families, 60 million own a dog, or both a dog and a cat, and 47.1 million households own a cat. The actual number of cats in the U.S. is 94.2 million including stray and feral cats as well as homes with multiple cats. Cat feces can spread E. coli and toxoplasmosis, but not all cat waste contains these toxins. A cat can become a carrier of toxoplasmosis parasites, which are present when cats eat rodents, birds, or other undercooked or raw meat. Escherichia coli bacterial infection. Escherichia coli bacteria, E. coli, is a widely known illness that causes a whole host of issues, including severe abdominal cramps and bouts of diarrhea. Cat feces can contain E. coli, which may pose a health risk if inadvertently ingested by either children or other household pets such as dogs. If cat feces is accidentally ingested from either the cat litter box or potential droppings on the cat's paws, medical treatment, or antibiotics, is often required to cure any E. coli infections. Toxoplasmosis, T. gondii. This is another common infection triggered by cat feces and accidental human consumption. Adults working in the garden, or children playing outdoors should also be careful to avoid any droppings left outside. If a woman is pregnant, then T. gondii can be fatal to her fetus. Other individuals, such as the elderly or people with weakened immune systems should be extra vigilant and careful with this illness. T. gondii is the parasite that leads to toxoplasmosis. These oocysts are small microorganisms that rapidly reproduce with an incubation period of between 1 to 5 days, so regular daily cleaning of the litter pan limits the likeliness of issues. Symptoms of the illness are high fever with severe bouts of diarrhea, some studies show that it can even alter personalities. Some cases have shown that for infected women, 54% were more likely to attempt suicide, with other disturbing side effects. Roundworm eggs and larvae toxicara chato. Another disturbing toxin in cat litter is roundworms with their larvae. Roundworms are intestinal parasites that are common in kittens and cats. The first type is known as toxicara chato. This is seen commonly, especially in small kittens, normally occurring from when kittens ingest their mother's milk, or from cats eating rodents. When cats eat rodents, they ingest the parasites into their lungs, eventually coughing them up. These larvae can infect humans. Once the larvae become adult roundworms in the intestines, they lay eggs, which are passed in cat feces. Cat urine is dangerous for humans. Cat urine is more than just a potent smell it also emits ammonia, leading to allergic reactions in both adults and children. In fact, children have lighter body weight and lower immunity to ammonia, leaving them at an even higher risk than adults. Anyone else with a compromised immune system or respiratory conditions, such as bronchitis, pneumonia, COPD, or asthma share that elevated risk. Typical symptoms of an ammonia allergy include coughing, vomiting, general nausea, headaches, sneezing, itchy skin, dizziness, and red eyes. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. General precautions when handling cat litter. Always wear gloves while working outside, and wash your hands after working to prevent skin contact with animal urine and feces. Encourage children to wash their hands after playing outside or playing with pets. Be mindful of children's open sandboxes or sand pits, because cats may use them as a cat box, increasing the risk of children's exposure. Cover up sand pits when not in use, or bring them inside a garage or shed. Always wash fruits and vegetables from the garden before consuming them to reduce exposure risk to these illnesses. It's good practice to wash store-bought fruits and vegetables as well, in case they weren't thoroughly washed in the packaging process. Wash your hands or wear gloves when cleaning litter boxes. Cat urine and cat litter boxes. A good rule of thumb is to not place a cat litter tray directly on a carpeted area. Often, 
Cats will miss the litter box and pass urine on the carpet. If a cat does miss the litter box, it is important to clean it as quickly as possible. To clean any urine areas, do not rub the stain, rather, wear gloves and dab the area clean to absorb as much urine as possible. Use hydrogen peroxide commercial cleaners, vinegar, baking soda, or disinfectants to kill the bacteria as quickly as possible. Never use ammonia-based cleaners as they react with the urine ammonia and only make the mess worse. One useful tip is to use either pine sawdust, bentonite clay, or cedar sawdust in the litter. These are known to quickly absorb urine while preventing urine crystals and ammonia from forming. Lining a cat litter box is also helpful. In addition to liners, an automatic litter box can make the task even simpler albeit they may be more expensive. It's bad to breathe in cat litter. Silicosis is a lung disease that causes inflammation of the lungs causing breathing difficulty. This occurs after silica dust is inhaled by pets. Silica litter has silica dust as an ingredient. Sodium bentonite can also trigger issues as well. Little research has been done to test the harm in humans, but human sensitivity is also of concern. A solution to this concern is to purchase cat litter without sodium bentonite and to use wheat litter, natural litter, or corn litter instead. A dust mask is a good precautionary tool as well. If you inhale contaminated kitty litter dust, the toxoplasmosis parasites, mentioned previously, can get into your system. Pregnancy and litter boxes. Anyone who is pregnant or considering pregnancy should never clean or be anywhere near a cat litter box, as cat feces may carry Toxoplasma gondii and can affect the immune system of a pregnant woman, or affect her fetus. According to the Center's Disease of Control and Prevention, pregnant women should avoid adopting a new cat, a kitten, or a stray cat, and should avoid changing cat litter. If no one else can perform the task, pregnant women should wear disposable gloves and wash their hands with soap and warm water afterward. The dangers of not cleaning cat litter. To avoid any potential risk, it is imperative to keep the cat litter box clean. That means daily and even twice daily removal of feces and clump litter. It is also highly recommended that the litter is fully replaced once a week. Cats do not like dirty litter boxes, and they will stop using them if they become too smelly. Aside from that, dirty cat boxes are breeding grounds for bacteria if not regularly cleaned. Cat litter, in itself, is not poisonous or toxic to humans. The product alone isn't a biohazard until it becomes contaminated with feces or urine. Cat litter isn't toxic, but children inadvertently sometimes play with contaminated litter. Children may also be exposed by a cat or kitten trailing or tracking contaminated litter on their paws as well. Tidy Cat Breeze is a litter designed to help solve this problem. This litter does not attach to the cat's paws, reducing the risk of spread. Another recommendation is world's best cat litter as it is a natural cat litter. Also, when applicable, use a covered litter box and face the opening towards the wall. Ideally, the litter box will be completely out of reach for any babies, infants, or toddlers, by implementing a baby gate. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.